So I was inspired to create a quick video, and that's because my desktop background, my downloads folder, and my hard drive has never looked so clean. And the reason is because of an app that I've been hearing all about and finally downloaded called Hazel. And so the first thing I did was um, follow the instruction of, of Tan from Asian Efficiency and set up a one where if anything hit my desktop, then it would automatically go into another folder called temporary storage. And so it's, let's see how that looks. Um, so what you do is you've got different folders. And so the desktop folder is the one that if anything hits my desktop, I can make a rule for it. And what that rule looks like is if we click on here, and if any file that is modified in the last two hours, it needs to be moved to this temporary storage. And so that was great. Everything cleared up right away. Um, and then I noticed that, um, you know, I kind of wanted things a little bit more organized. And one thing that I'm always having trouble with is when I download things, I kind of never really put them in any place uh, that, that's, that's good. And I don't ever clear my downloads um, for things that I don't need, like zip files or those DMG files when you're downloading different software programs. And so I could automatically remove the zip and the DMG just with another simple rule. So the extension contains zip, so it just means it's in the name and it's added before today. So I give myself a day um, to extract those zip files and do what I need with them and then after that it automatically gets moved into the trash. And the DMG one is identical. So extension and that's just like, so if it's .pdf, um, PNG dot DOC, you know, that's what the extension base contains, and in this, in this case, TMG. And again, I gave myself 24 hours for it. So that was real big on cleaning up my downloads, but then I went even further as I download a lot of PDFs. So I made a rule for that, and um, so if it's, if it's any sort of PDF that I download, it'll go into a specific folder, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, same with audio. So the kind is music and the extension contains the mp3. Um, and I did uh, both PNG and JPEG for my images. Those, those both go into the same folder. And that folder is actually within my temporary storage. And I always find that I was using little folders and, and things on my desktop just because it's so quick to get to. So I thought I wouldn't fight that inclination and I put everything here. And so when I download something and it's an MP3, it'll automatically go in here. When I download something and it is an image, it'll automatically go into my images. Um, mind map was another one uh, that, that I use for um, creating mind maps for blog ideas or, or whatever I decided I needed a mind map. Yesterday my girlfriend and I did a mind map on our financial budgeting plan. Um, and so that'll just go right in there. And um, so here's those PDFs ones I was talking about before. And um, and I did a special one for screenshot. And so if we look in, in Hazel again, um, so for my temporary storage, I have screenshot action. And so if it's an image and it's a PNG and it says screenshot, it'll go in to um, the folder that says screenshot. Then after that, I made um, a screenshot action that would take it out of this temporary folder, so the temporary um, screenshot folder, and um, if, it's, if it's more than an hour old, then it will go in this folder. And then after that, if it's 24 hours, it'll go into this. I'm still testing it out to see if it worked, but then after 24 hours, I'll have those screenshots just automatically deleted which is huge for me because I'm constantly taking screenshots and they, you know, most of them need to be deleted because I don't like how they look or I'm not going to use them. And if they still contain the word screenshot, then I haven't done anything with them. And, and if I haven't done anything with them within 24 hours, I'm probably not going to do anything with it. So the name contains screenshot and I gave myself 23 hours because I've already given myself an hour previously. So, I'm looking forward to creating many more um, little actions to, to just automate my organization. Right now, I'm incredibly happy with it. I'm glad I'm, I am fortunate enough to um, have a new computer, so I'm kind of starting, starting fresh. 
my, my last one, the hard drive, is just a mess. But the idea for the screenshot one is that first it'll go into the hour and then 24 hour. And then if I find that works, um, then it will go into um, the trash. So um, that's my little Hazel setup. I have no idea if, if it's normal or really weird or not. It, it just works for me. And um, I thought I'd share. So as soon as I got re done recording, I realized I was going to make another folder and another Hazel action. And this is for ScreenFlow videos. And so I saved the original ScreenFlow to my desktop and it automatically got swept up and went into my temporary storage. But I'd actually like to have it be a little bit more organized and go into um, another folder that I made called ScreenFlow Action. So let me show you how that, something like that would work. And actually before we do, I'll just shoot show you that first rule. So I got the hazel action and then a few seconds later boom it pops, pops into this temporary storage. So again we're going to open up hazel and we're going to create a new rule and this rule is going to be in this temporary storage so when a hazel video or when a screen flow video hits my temporary storage it's gonna it's gonna move and so I'm going to create that rule by hitting the temporary storage folder and hitting the plus sign and just call it screen flow action and I'm going to do it based off the software that I used and so it's going to be kind is um, you've got all these more obvious choices but you can also hit the other and any software that you use on your Mac will be in here so I'm just going to use the search function and the screen flow document is there so I'm going to save that and then so if it is a screen flow type document I'm gonna move it to this folder that I just created and to do that I'll look at look for it in the other and screen flow action so it's gonna go there and everything looks good so press OK and I'll just wait and see if it works Alright, looks like it worked. So now, from now on, whenever I make a video, all I have to do is save it to my desktop and it'll automatically go into this ScreenFlow Action folder, which I'll then have to you know, process and make it an MP4 and cut out maybe some of my ums if I feel ambitious that day. But the system is a heck of a lot better than what I was doing before and a heck of a lot easier. So if you have a Mac, I definitely encourage downloading this software even just the trial to see if it's a uh, if it's good for it for you. And again, I don't know if it's a normal way to use it, but uh, it's a way that works really well for me. Um, so I think that's that's part of the benefit of Hazel is that it's pretty customizable. So again, hope this helps, and I will talk to you later.